Archer Losties. Hey, we've just watched episode 11, and welcome back to the land of the living, Ben. This is the official fan show for Lost on Sky One. Come and look who's with me. It's Paul Terry, the editor of the official Lost magazine. Hello. What are you laughing for? I'm in a really good Stop mood. Stop it. <laughs> Over here, it's everyone's uh, third favourite geeky nerd. It's Geeky Tom. Hey, uh, there's not to it, is there? <laughs> <laughs> and if you understood what he said there, well done you. <laughs> now, let's talk about the episode of Lost we've just watched. Ben isn't dead. No. I cannot... Have they cheated us a little bit here, Paul Terry? There are a couple of the, the things that upset me. Okay, go on. When he got yeah. shot last week, he got shot there. The wound is now there. Is that right? I'm correct in thinking that. There was, there was bleeding out to the uh, to his right hand side. Yeah. yeah. Agreed. And, and he's not dead, you know. Saeed, being the trained hitman, should have pumped some bullets in his head. But doesn't this back up some of the th theories that he can't die? Because of the island and because of the future, Ben isn't dead. So, yeah, I'm just suggesting that's maybe what's happened. That mm. he, it doesn't matter if you try, and, like Michael, it doesn't matter if you shoot him in the head or the heart, and he will recover. No, 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 no. Because when Michael got shot, the gun wouldn't work or the bullet would like miss him or something. He got shot. But I'm thinking of Mars's theory saying that it's Ben's past, so he can't die. You know, that they've been ranked with yeah. that about Hurley, but I'm sure that's what I was thinking. Because it's Ben's past. Yeah. That's why he can't die. Tom, did you feel that, that that was cheating in any way whatsoever? The bullet moving and... Did it? Maybe I got it wrong. Maybe I got it wrong. Um, no. Good. <laughs> uh, Jack has changed. I like the new Jack. Yeah. But Kay doesn't. But Jack has kind of, has, has kind of got quite steely and determined not to do what he's done in the past. Um, yeah. What about his Hippocratic Oath? <laughs> do you know what that means? I think so. <laughs> Let's go into Paul Terry again, because I think we may get more. What about, right, right, what about <laughs> Jack's Hippocratic Oath? He's, he's said that he's going to have to help everyone, and he refuses to help a child. Yeah, new, new steely Jack, Tom. Yeah, yeah I, I, I'm, not, I'm not loving it. He's um, cause it's like, okay, he doesn't want to fix everything. Yeah. But why is he all, I'll make some sandwiches, I'll have a shower. Just, he's he's just being daddy cool to the extreme, just, isn't he? But then, you know, it doesn't work, because then, you know, Kate has been ranted him, doesn't yeah. like him. Juliet comes in and... Whoa, yeah. Serving one, so not really, really working out. But what, and why is he why is he changing like this? Is it um, because he's upset with Sawyer? Is it because he's been put in the subservient role of being a workman, or is it just because he's realised uh, that uh, everything he's done in the past has has been wrong? When I interviewed Jack, uh, what's his name, Matthew Fox, uh, on the island of Hawaii, Oahu, uh, he he did say to me that um, in this season, we, Jack will um, learn that actually he's not always been right and his spiritual side will start to come out more okay. as opposed to his scientific medical side. He's sounding more like John Locke, isn't he? With the yes. whole, you know, yes. the, maybe the island should fix things. Yeah. But, but I, li I like the way that even when he's confronted by Juliet and she says, well, what are you here for then? He yeah. says, I don't know. Yeah. She doesn't actually know yet. So he's kind of... Whereas Kate tells us what she's there seems, for. Yes. That we got point. that. We got like that. that. And that's why in the other episode she was all steely faced when Sawyer sort of went, why did you come back? She's and there for Claire. She's and I like that, yeah. Because yeah. that's her putting herself completely behind the situation going, I'm going to find Claire and readdress the balance a bit because, you know, yeah, she did take Aaron for a long time, but mm. she needed him emotionally, but now she's going to find his mum. All right, going on a little it's bit. Good. It's going yeah. on a little bit now. I'm, I'm rambling. Yeah, all right, sorry. Yeah. Why is Kate so keen to help Ben? I am, um, maybe she sees um, a bit of Aaron, maybe, in, in young, young Ben. And because um, they kept, kept on mirroring the, um, her relationship with Aaron, yeah. and with uh, her relationship with Ben on the island, yeah. and well, I'm, I'm trying my best here. Yeah. It's, not, it's not very, it's not very good. <laughs> and what I don't get is Juliet. The weird thing when Juliet comes out and she says, "Oh, Ben's going to die," and Kate says, "Is there anyone that can help him?" And she goes, "Yeah, maybe the others can." What does she, what does she know about the others? Because I'm surprised she said that. What they live in the jungle? What they can do? A bit, you know. I don't know. I felt a bit of a desperate moment. I think she just thinks that there's nothing she can do. And I think after the um, the Amy's baby, she's probably I've come out a little bit that she's, this. you know. Yeah. All right, well, let's, 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 let's give you one more chance. <laughs> <laughs> but I think she knows exactly what's going to happen when um, she gives Ben over to the others. The way she kind of looks down at the floor and is kind of like, oh, okay, yeah, I know that he's probably going to change completely and lose his innocence. Why does Richard Albert knows who he is? in that he's the young Ben Linus, but he doesn't know who he's going to become, does he? 
at that point. No, we don't. Because well, Richard Alpert is, is in 1977 and that's... that's. Yeah, but interesting, they've met before, haven't they, when uh, yeah. Ben saw his mum. So, well, that's why he says, is that Ben Linus? Yeah, but... He recognises The thing him. about, you know, oh, they handed him over to young Ben to the others and therefore they're going to create the monster, blah, blah, blah. But if he was going to join them anyway, how does it even matter if he was shot? Because he was going to join the others anyway and therefore would have still had his innocence taken, yada, yada, yada. No, so, but would, would he have had his innocence taken, though? Would he have been taken down to the temple of... Nastiness. Oh, okay. No, fair enough. Yeah, if you see the, the temple of nastiness, is that the official Dharma term for <laughs> the so. mysterious temple? Well, it turns you into a, it, t- <laughs> it's it a warps your mind down there. Something it, happens. We, we to see you. the door open. But we want to know what happens. So, are we saying that Ben, <laughs> after he comes out of the temple and has lost his innocence, has the sickness? Well, yeah, it must be because it's the same thing that Riso explains. Can I just say another another cop out? And this is genuinely a cop out oh, from right. the writers. He'll forget all of this ever happened. Therefore, when you go back and watch season two, where Side's beating him up, he won't recognise him because he forgot that. I thought that was a little bit I lame. Know, it was a bit. But then it could be like maybe it's an evil twin thing where, like Ben, who's been shot, um, is still actually does die, and then they kind of clone him and, and he has an evil. But there's a lot of patchy. Where did that rubbish come from? <laughs> yeah, I was like, what show just, you just, just, just move on yeah. from that. <laughs> Okay, we've got an email from Christian, who says, Richard Alpert told us about the repercussions healing Ben would have upon the boy. We have seen the adverse effects of entering the temple on those such as Rousseau's fiancé and the science team. I believe that what goes on in the temple is something like out of invasion of the body snatchers. This would mean that the Ben we know and love is some kind of island alien parading around in the body of the real Ben. Makes my cleaning. It, it does make it. Yeah. Does, uh, <laughs> well, okay. If we follow that nonsense through, uh, does that mean that somehow Ben, as he later becomes, could be healed mm. and return back to being that nice little boy that he was? They kind of exercise the demon yeah. out of him. Maybe we don't know what they're. I don't think it's an alien thing. Maybe it's a kind of more a spiritual thing. Though. Sorry. Wait, whoa. Oh, hang, on. Oh, hang on a second. Say that again. What? What's we'll this? We'll subtitle it and everything. Well, he could be more of a like. A, like an old spirit gets put in his body. I oh, don't know. But that's not science. I know it's Tom. not. Look at you. You're coming around to our way of thinking. Come over to the dark around. side. Just, <laughs> something, something, something dark side. <laughs> <laughs> While these two are giggling like oh. sixth form girls, if you'd like to uh, email us with your theory, uh, then send an email to Lost on Sky One at sky.com. Lost on Sky One. It's the number one at sky.com. And we're also on the Facebook, the Bebo, the MySpace, and indeed, the Twitter. We find out what happens to Aaron. Um, she gives Kate gives him back to Carol. Yeah, we, we thought it was going to be. Kate gives him back to Carol, Mary Poppins. Oh, blimey. That was the worst action I've ever heard in my life. What do you mean, my Claire's alive on the island? You sound like Frank Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Betty. It, that was a, a terrible accent. They do Australian accents very bad. Remember when, when Hurley goes back to see the woman in Australia, who's who's the wife of the guy that first found the numbers. Oh crikey! And Way she back. was yeah, talking yeah. like that as well about the numbers, mate. But she gives him back to Claire's mum. Mm-hmm. Nice. Which I thought was going to be Cassidy. I thought Cassidy yep. was going to get to the. Oh and, yes, yeah. thank you. Oh yeah, uh, Cassidy. Cassidy. <laughs> 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 right, at the start, have you ever, are, you, are you a clone of Geeky Tom? Because at know. the start of this episode, when uh, 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 Kate goes around to see Cassidy and Clementine, Tom's going, who's that? <laughs> and we go, well that's the woman that, that, that Sawyer was, had a child yeah. with. Sawyer's got a child? Yeah, they did an episode where they did some cons to get, he conned her out of all the money, and then there was another episode where he was in prison and he, she came and visited him. I don't remember it, I've never seen it in my life. <laughs> Do you know who she is now? Yeah, no, you don't, yeah, do you? Yeah, I do. You didn't. How could you I not remember it. Cassidy? I don't know. She wasn't a major player in. Oh, there we go. She, she's, she's the mother of Sawyer's she's, child. She's the most major aspect of his entire history. I just, we, I, it hasn't. It didn't stick. In, and even if we're explaining mind. it to him, he's going, no, I don't know, no, never heard of it. All right. Would you like to apologise to the viewers of this for being a muppet? <laughs> Sorry for being a muppet. Well done. <laughs> my new ringtone by the way. <laughs> See what, what I found quite exciting in the dull scenes between Kate and uh, Cassidy that were like a soap opera and the scene with the, the Claire's mum, Carol, is that Kate has told them the truth yeah. about what happened on the island and I thought that was quite exciting because obviously that's a big big secret and they said well no, actually everyone's alive, mm. uh, Sawyer jumped out to save us, it's all you know we've lied, it's not my kids, 
Did you not find that exciting, just me? Um, not particularly, oh. but it does lead me to believe that maybe Cassidy may be in on it. No. Sorry? Nonsense. Well, maybe... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Going for a man who doesn't even remember who she is, so then you suddenly decided she's now like Widmore or Linus faction. No, I thought that was exciting though, that the, the truth is now out there slightly. But I like the way they did it in the sense that it's Cassidy who's obviously been really good at conning people and knows yeah. how to read people. But stuff like that, and never... looking at Kate and going, you're lying to me, instantly. You yeah. know? And then that was good for Kate, I think, yeah. shaping her out. Like never know. this. You know, like revealing a big secret, like that never, you know, doesn't not get out. It's going to get out somehow. That's what I'm hoping, yeah. Why? Hang on, but surely Aaron has to go back to the island. No, because Claire came to Kate in the vision saying, Don't you dare bring him back. Why does he have to? Yeah, why? Because they all have to go back to the island. Yeah, but that's all been. That's, that's, that's gone. Oh, that's gone now. That, you it? don't need to worry about well, that. Pour a potion. <laughs> see you in another life, brother. I think that the supermarket scene where Aaron got lost or appeared as though he was kidnapped or vanished was a foreshadowing. I got the feeling when Kate left him in the hotel room alone, something is going to happen to him. Ooh. I think that he won't be in the room when Claire's mum goes in to get him. Maybe he will end up back on the island somehow. Something has to happen with all that that scene. I think it was there was too much of it not no, to I have think, a significant. I think it was just a sentimental scene. It was a sentimental episode, you know, and that's it. I like quite like that. Maybe yeah, maybe he will disappear. Maybe yeah, Cassie does let on that this is Aaron, this um, quite special child. And Widmore uses him yeah, as bait. And, and goes and gets him. Yeah. Back in 1977, it's getting more difficult to stop people getting suspicious about Jack, Kate, and the others as well, including um, Sawyer a little bit. They, they can't keep this lie going for oh. much longer. It's getting very close to coming out, isn't Kate it? Kate's standing there by all the monitors and the screens and yeah. Sawyer's trying to sort it out. Who, you know, why is she here? Uh, what's your name? Is Kate going yeah. to up to Ben Linus' dad? That seemed to be a bit of flirting. It's a little bit on. of uh... maybe more from Roger's side than Kate's side, but she was, uh, you know, happy to sort of ingratiate herself into that group of. Uh, I did enjoy. It. Look, 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 there they are. Look, there they are. Uh, Hurley and Miles, oh, who've Bessie. now become like bestest buddies, yeah. and the, and it was a brilliant, brilliant scene where it's it's uh, time travel for dummies. Wasn't it? And it was yeah. hilariously done and, and fascinating and explained it all, which is very exciting. But I think Hurley's always been the voice of uh, the fans. He's always been the voice yeah. of the audience. I like yeah. the way that when we're thinking like, but you know, we said the Back to the Future thing the other week and then he says it and then goes through all yeah. the problems that we're encountering with the series and then almost solves all the problems and then presents new questions. Well, I don't so. think he solved them, but he just discussed them. He didn't really bring it, bring it to any resolution. It was just a bit of, you know, friendly banter, a bit yeah. of fun. A little bit of fun there. Now, Jack, is he's becoming more of a loose cannon, isn't he? Uh, really loose cannon. He's just a bit like he's like a stroppy teenager. Yeah, like I don't me. care. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's like you. Is he gonna let? <laughs> is he gonna let it slip that they're from the future? And one of the reasons why they they're gonna have to come clean is because they'll go and say that they can actually they have come from the future and it, it will start the creation of um, where we see the beginning of season one when they're drilling holes and into the season four, episode one, season, yeah, five. season four, yeah. five, yes, yes. yes. Getting confusing. Uh, very quickly, any ideas where Saeed's gone? Saeed's just <laughs> run off in his silk shirt, <laughs> running through the jungle like a madman. Yeah, I shot a kid. Woo! I think it's time to get some boar and have some dinner. And I think he's going to join the ranks of Jacob and Claire and, you know, really? the, the, the kind of mysterious, you know, I can't explain what's going on. It's just okay. it's going on. Well, let's let's uh, wrap this baby up, shall we? Paul Terry, in three words this week's episode, please. Uh, Kate, rescue Claire. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, More Tom. a statement, yeah. Um, fleshy blood wound. <laughs> it's quite good, isn't it? No, it's not. It's terrible. <laughs> Our midweek edition is released this Wednesday at sky.com forward slash lost. We're going to talk, talk more about Sawyer, Ben and Dharma. And we're going to have a biggest lost fan update. Plus, I don't know why I'm laughing. I, it's, it's mainly out of fear, if I'm honest. <laughs> uh, plus, more of your emails, your questions and the best of your theories. Join us on Wednesday. Until then, no matter. Hey, uh, is that, that's not, not, not too, is that? Is that?